Welcome everybody to another episode of Top 3 Tech. Today we're bringing you the Gigabyte Eagle AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. Look how tiny this box is. I think it's probably the smallest box we've gotten so far. Probably going to be one of the smallest cards. Definitely one of the cheapest. But today's going to start this Gigabyte run that I'm going to be on. Because for some reason I was able to get a couple of Gigabyte cards. Kind of like the XFX. For some reason those were all available at the same time. So. Let's see how they all perform, all the different types of cards we have, and let's go ahead and do the unboxing. of the box let's go ahead and see what is on the inside like I said it's the smallest box I have seen so far on this channel and um, I believe the Eagle is their cheaper tier card and then it's the gaming oh my goodness gracious sorry guys there's this we'll go ahead and look at that right now let's see what else is in the box looks like this lifts up Trying to lift this up gently so this lifts up like that and all that is inside is a graphics card quick guide from gigabyte tells you real quick what the slots are how to um, install the various things in different languages English hardware installation in the back so just if you don't know how to install a GPU it lets you know um, Walshy Tech actually made a good video telling you how to install GPUs. But uh, let's close this up. Well, let's take a closer look at the actual GPU. Look how tiny this is. So, let's go. This is a dual fan card. The Gigabyte is encircled with the blue outline and the Eagle's blue as well. It does not have RGB as you can tell and is 192 millimeters in length. It has no backplate on the back and the radiator is on the left as you can see, very tiny. The Gigabyte Radeon is painted on in white. It doesn't have RGB and it is a six pin card. It does have two heat pipes on the side, looks like they're copper and um, it does have a PCIe cover, which my 6800 XT didn't come with. It does have one display port and one HDMI, that way you have two monitors, you can mount it that way. This Eagle does have the light blue aesthetics on it. As you can see the Eagle and the circle around the Gigabyte on the fan. It does not I don't believe it has RGB like on the other Eagle that I tested out. I believe it was the 6700 XT. And it just has white paint, uh, white paint, Gigabyte Radeon. I believe the only other card that I have here is the XFX 6700 XT Quick 319 that doesn't have RGB on it. Oh, and then the Sapphire Pulse, that one doesn't have RGB on it either. So actually we got three cards today that don't have RGB and three that do. But if we look at the differences between these cards, obviously this has little ridges on the front. You can see right there. I mean, I'm not too sure how you're going to display it, but this one has little, little etches in it. That one has little the little hash marks, so every card has a different design. This has little grooves, little bumps, and then the whole RGB in the front. That fan lights up. These fans light up. It has a little silver from the nitro. And then the pulse just has the red lines on the front. 
So that's just the little differences between those. Everyone um, can like different styles of cards, how they look. This has no back plate on the back of it, as you saw. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. But, I mean, if you compare it to these other cards, like this quick, it has this, um, the wording right there. It says XFX right there. It has the side vent. This one, I guess, has a little side vent, too, on the radiator. I guess I should make it fair and put it like the other cards. There, so it does have the little side vent, I guess, to dispel heat. You know, these all have them. Look, this one says, Fast, Mysterious, and Unbeatable. Weirdest lines ever on the Azrael cards. But just showing you the differences between the cards, the EVGA cards. I've always liked these little circular designs on them. This is my favorite, obviously. And then I've always liked this line. I wish it was RGB red. Like I said before, we pay money for these cards. They should come with RGB, but you guys can debate that all you want. But not this card. The white paint and the 6-pin is interesting when you compare it to the 6700 XTs. Those are all 16 pins. Yeah, this doesn't have the RGB, like I said, that lights up. They say Radeon differently. This one kind of reminds me of um, NVIDIA cards that say GE4 is pretty big on the side. The Radeon is usually not too bold. It's right there and right there. But this takes up the whole front, even though that's kind of kind of a given because that is all of, all of the card but let's go ahead and see how this tiny little thing looks inside this beast of a case the Lee and Lee Lancol 2 as it is I'm already not a big fan of the the bare back the raw back Sheesh. card but I mean it looks very tiny as you can see um uh, Normally where the bracket goes for my my GPU to hold onto, it doesn't even touch that part. I had gotten that for the 6800 XT since it was so heavy. I'm going to go ahead and boot up the PC so we can see how it looks with the lights on. It'll probably look a little better. Moment of truth. Jeez. So it does look a letter, letter. Jeez. It does look a little better with the lighting. But, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of these cards and then it looks tiny in my case so I mean I guess I could put a bigger bottle on the side right there well let's get to the benchmarks I'm not gonna try to talk too much trash about it because this is a budget card so I will probably compare it at um, 1440p 1080p ultra settings just to compare it to the other cards on the chart and I'll probably do a separate video of uh, low and medium settings all right, and here we are at the benchmark section of the video. Before I get started, let me introduce you to the top three tech PC specs. We have an ASUS X570 Tough Gaming Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. We have a Ryzen 7 5800X CPU. We have 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance, 3200 megahertz RAM. And of course, the card that I'll be testing today is the Gigabyte Eagle RX 6500 XT. It has a core clock of 1717 megahertz, a game clock of 2610 megahertz, and a boost clock up to 2815 megahertz. It is running on 4 gigabyte GDDR6 memory. It is an RDNA2 architecture, and the minimum recommended PSU wattage is a 400 watt PSU. When we check out the GPU temperatures on the games we ran today, the temperatures were at 1440p and 1080p. Time Spy and Fire Strike hit 53 degrees Celsius and 54 degrees Celsius. Combustor was even on both resolutions at 54 degrees Celsius. Gears of War 5 hit 53 degrees Celsius. Forza Horizon 5 hit 50 degrees Celsius. Shadow of the Tomb Raider hit 53 degrees Celsius. Assassin's Creed Valhalla hit 53 degrees Celsius. Call of Duty Cold War hit 60 degrees Celsius and 61 degrees Celsius. Call of Duty Warzone hit 60 degrees Celsius at 1440p and 61 degrees Celsius at 1080p. And Cyberpunk hit 63 degrees Celsius at 1440p and 62 degrees Celsius at 1080p. And that was at the highest temperature that they hit, um, just in case you were wondering. Now we're going to head on over to the benchmarks. Um, they were ran with smart access memory, so let's go ahead and see the results.
we're at the end of the video. Let me conclude what I think so far. Um, one of the pros is that the price is cheap. So a lot of people don't like spending a lot of money on graphics cards or don't have the means to spend a lot on graphics cards. So that is a nice plus. I believe this was um, 270 when I went to purchase it. So it wasn't too bad. I think they're going lower. GPU prices have dropped recently. And this is not April Fool's joke since um, I'm finished editing this on April Fool's. But it's nice to see that. So hopefully it keeps dropping down. Um, on Ultra 1080p, I was averaging about 30 frames per second. So that's not too bad. You can go ahead and lower the Ultra down to maybe medium, low, and see what you get if you want to get like 60 frames. See, you know, mess around with that. There is... Um, the super uh, resolution sampling which might help out this card as well I would um, test it out and show you guys the, the screen but you can't record I'll get to that in a little bit the card is small it has a small form factor so it could fit in many PCs you can do different kinds of builds stow it away so that is pretty nice it is fairly cool the temperatures you know were around 53 degrees Celsius while gaming and that was like the highest it hit um, sometimes it did go to 61 to 63 on the newer games it seemed like but the VRAM was loaded the game was stuttering it wasn't meant to be played at that so that's I, that's why I think it got hot um, these cards do have high frequency um, numbers once they uh, for the boost clock and the game clock so that helps it out a little bit and for the cons it has ray tracing cores but you're never going to use ray tracing on this it's already taking a hit as it is so it's kind of pointless like I mentioned earlier, there's no recording, no in-game recording through AMD. Um, you know, the adrenaline software, so you can't record your gameplay, and that's pretty important. Um, I say this in a lot of videos, a lot of people give me some flack for this, but there's no RGB on it. You're paying for these cards, the newer cards, let's get RGB, even if it's just a stripe. Come on guys, we're in the future now. And of course, there's no backplate. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it, but I get it, this is a cheap card that you might never see stood away in a little box somewhere. Another con is it only has four gigabytes of um, virtual RAM. In this day and age, that's terrible, especially when AMD said themselves that um, four gigabytes of RAM, of virtual RAM, was in the past. So I don't know, you know. And of course, it has the limited PCIe lanes. So if you're playing on a Gen 3 motherboard, your performance might drop. Um, I might go ahead and do the Gen 3 versus Gen 4 again for this. Comment down below if you would like to see that. But I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more GPU videos. And thank you guys for watching till the end. See you later. Peace. Thank you for watching another video from Top 3 Entertainment. Um, I hope you hit like and subscribe. Also, I'm going to have a recommended playlist, a recommended video right here. So make sure to click that as well. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Whether it be to the Top 3 Tech, Top 3 Gaming, or the Why Not Me podcast, you guys are dope. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And of course, let's grow this thing together. Peace. Peace. Peace.